you have to be a little a, a weapon or a gun or a knife. Because some of us have told down people to kill them with our mouths. The tongue is a list power. How many holes and marriages and the wars and various things have been started because of that tongue. Of that tongue. Somebody, ooh, come on, I, I love y'all. Somebody says a tornado. That's never, come on. Ooh, a tornado. Oh, I like that, a tornado. A tornado. And some of our tongues are set on by the hell of fire. Who oh, y'all looking at me? See, I'm old school. I come from church members. They taught us right from wrong. Although we all didn't always do right. Who hey, y'all looking at me? Listen, and every time something come out of your mouth, uh, honey, have you heard? Have you heard? I thought about my I thought about my grandmother when she was hanging out clothes one day, and one of the neighbors uh, stated to her, "Honey, did you hear about such and such, such and such?" She said, she kept on hanging the clothes out, and the woman said, "Miss Williams, did you hear?" She said, "Honey, let me tell you, it takes six what is that? Six months to my mind, and six months to." He goes along. She said, no, I ain't heard about anything. He said, you think about it. It's, 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 it's a lot just to keep my own business together. Yeah, that's right. It's a lot. It's a lot. And I'm going to get back with that tongue. That tongue. Lord have mercy. I'm just thinking about it. And the, I thought about it. I said, it, it, it weighs less than five ounces. But baby, it could kill. It can kill. And I just want to say, and how many friendships been told because of what somebody said? Yeah, because of what somebody said. And nine times out of ten, six, I'm finding out everything you hear, don't repeat it because it may not be true. And the Bible says, he that utters, uh, 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 what I'm saying in the scripture, uh, uh, when we utter various things or slander, he said, we are fool for even doing it. Because we don't even know if it's true. And sometimes people know who to bring their mess to. Oh, I don't know. Because if you wanted to get out, you know who to tell it to. And nine times out of ten, when it's out, you know who's see. No. But I know, I, I know that's not here. I know y'all, perfect church and saved, beautiful, you know what I'm saying? Come on, mother. She say no perfect church. Because I believe we're perfect, we'd be going on the door. But since that thing is, when you hear things, pray for them. Pray for them. Because sometimes people don't want to be with them. And then my heart goes out, especially to the men of God. Y'all see this all on social media. My God yeah. have mercy. Sometimes even with my husband, he said, I don't want to look at that mess. I don't want to hear about that mess. Because nine times out of ten, if you look at it saying some of that stuff is not even true. They had out about Shirley Caesar was passed and all this kind of stuff. Y'all see that? And I told my husband, that's not true. I said, I'm just listening to it. I remember that time I had out that my husband had passed. And I said, well, that's strange because he's not me. And it was a lie. Because the Bible says some people would rather believe a lie and be damned. Oh, y'all looking at me now. Oh. And what about uh, unforgiveness? Stay right there all day. Some of us, and first of all, you got to forgive yourself. Y'all talking, I like this class. It's like a class today. Is that all right? Y'all talk back to me. Because the Bible says this, when we don't forgive, he won't forgive us. And he says, if you have a, a fault against your brother, no, no, I'm going to go take Sister Sauce of Girl. What she did. He said, you go to them. And you go along to them. But he said, first you better leave your, he said, leave your gift that thought. Leave that, go to them. Huh? Am I in the book, preachers? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Come on. He said, leave yeah. you get there. Yes, yes. You go to him. And sometimes you may have to take somebody with you. Because when you go to him, it'll be a big lie to you. You go to him and they lying and say, you said this and that. Okay. Come on. You better, you better be safe and stuck. You saw him. And he says, and then you offer him. If they be a meet up, they reconcile and stuff. That's fine. But even if they don't. Oh. Come on, mama, mother. You didn't teach your part. God already knows about it. Yeah. 
Because that's the one, I think sometimes that's the number one thing in the church. I mean, some of it, part of it. I'll forgive this. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Can I share something? I thought about one of the doctors and I was reading this article. And this, the lady couldn't find this. She went to the doctor and she just was sick. Headache, you name it. Heartache, stomachache, you name it. And so the doctor was asking her, they ran every, every type of test, various tests, every test you can name. They, they ran the, the test. And he, they come back with the results. The doctor said, we can't find anything wrong. And he says, what really is wrong? What's wrong? The woman said, well, my sister, I'm going to, did such and such to me. And he says, really, but how long was this? 20 years ago. Mess. And since a lot of times what we're going through, it's spiritual. Yes. Because we won't, we won't forgive. And when that unforgiveness comes in, sex, I'm telling you, I mean, it can, and you, and, and it'll run your blood pressure up on you. Yes, it will. You look at that person, so, whoop, whoop. Oh, y'all, y'all, I'm laughing, but think about something. Ooh, every time I see her, just makes my blood, my blood pressure. Sex, so it's, it's serious, though. Because some of the stuff that we've gone through is not all, all physical, but it's demonic. Yes. Yes. It's, it's Satan sent. Yes. And some things we've gone through is self inflicted. Yes. In other words, yes. it's self induced because yes. of our own. Yes. Am I doing all right? Yes. Huh? Yes. Everything is not physical, sometimes it's mental. Yes. I'm going to leave that one alone because a lot of us are going through a lot of things. Got a lot of mental illness with our people. And we just ain't finding that out. Hmm? I just found out some of mine was, some of my folks is, uh, have mental illness. I'm just asking, like, come on, it might be comical, but I'm just find, finding that out. Think somebody said, what's under your hat? You got to forgive. And say, you know what, another thing, and y'all stop worrying about folks. Worrying about tomorrow. We don't know what tomorrow going to bring like our poor state. The Bible says, casting all your cares upon him because he, he cares for you. In the Greek, when he says cast him, he says, just throw it all on him. Because he cares for you. He cares for you. Just look at somebody again and say, what's under your hand? Y'all get to see right now, but I'm not going to go through it. I'm not going to hurry up with this. And then some of us are carrying under those hats. Because we say hat. Our hat is our covering, right? But under those hats, that's where that thinking is coming, saints. Those thoughts. Sickness I mentioned, abuse. And those hats, a lot of times, some of us have been abused. Mm -hmm. yes, a lot. You think about it. Who somebody said who? Yes. A lot. A lot. A lot. Wow. And it can be physical. Mm -hmm. mental. Mental. Ooh, like, ooh, mental abuse. The mental, mental. The mental baby. Mental. It'll drive you out of your mind. Yeah. Of God. I think we gotta get up. I know it myself. I said, Lord, my mind. Because you don't know what's gonna send you off today. <laughs> come on, you don't know. You can come on. Ooh, come on. Mother, what you say? Can I say? Put them in the Holy Ghost rest. And they gotta come up with their hands up. Say, I'm coming out with my hands up. Abuse, neglect. And since abuse can even be, you know, people look, you know, verbal abuse, oh, that verbal abuse is something else too. People talk to you like a dog. And even in our relationships, sometimes we don't know how to talk to one another. So talking to one another, we talk at one another. Don't know how to talk and sit down and just the Bible said, come, let us freeze it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, the same thing, you just gotta talk it out. And I think as I think as women, we we, we, we talk, we, we we can talk more. Yeah. I think about think of my husband, and sometimes I'm talking to him and he said, just get to the point, get to the point. Sometimes I have to go through all the A, B, C, D, the process and stuff. I said, no, but he said, just get to the point. But I'm trying to get to the point if you let me get to the beginning. And I know a lot of us have been abused, physically, mentally. You think about it. All right, no, yeah, okay. yeah, all right. And I just want to, but look at us now. Because what that Bible tells me, what the devil made me evil. God turned around for my good. He didn't want to turn around for you good. You take the wrong message, brother. Y'all hear him, but that's okay. That's okay. And I don't understand how you can say you love somebody, you put a ring on their finger, but put a ring around their eye. Oh. Be nice. Uh, y'all, church, I can talk more. 
All this back body. Yes. Back body. That's another one that goes hand in hand with a lot of things. Yes. Yes. Back body. The back body. It's destroying people. Yes. I thought about one of the ladies in the church. She says, she went to the pastor. She says, they've been talking about me. They've been talking about me. He says, well, honey, they've been talking. You just didn't know it. Some things is good as well as best and some things we don't know. Some things I don't even want to know anymore. Because if, if when I'm like my daughter, she says, Mom, when they come to me with this stuff now, I said, so this information, so what do you want me to do with it? What am I supposed to do with it when you tell me? To? What do you want me to do with it? Well, I heard. Well, I heard Jesus saves. 